Sponge Murphy here, how he's all getting on today. So a bit of a review for you guys today. Uh, if you have watched my last eBay loot video, you would have seen that I got these two Rift Gates off eBay from a seller called um, The Troll Trader. A lot of people have been asking me where I got these. Uh, if you go to eBay, just look up tra uh, Troll Trader and you'll find them in that. Um, I'll put a link in the description anyway below so you can check it out. Um, yeah, so I got these two Rift Gates off them. Uh, for an incredibly good price um, I think these could fit on any kind of terrain table you could even put them on a 40k especially Edge of Sigma and fa other fantasy games um, the price was incredibly to be honest with you it was incredibly cheap for what they are um, originally I was going to get one but uh, it was 5 I think it was 530 for one and it was like 250 delivery so I was gonna get one, but then he had a uh, kind of a two pack where you get the two of them for a tenner, and you just paid passes and packaging for the price of one. So that was much better. So that's what I got. Um, it came in a big uh, envelope, so maybe it was really thin and it was able to fit in through the letterbox. So maybe that's why the postage was so cheap. But this guy is really good. A lot of eBay people, the postage is like another way to make extra money for them i think because the postage and some of them do be so ridiculous but this guy is very reasonable um he has two more these ones this one is the red the I was gonna say realm gate <laughs> uh the rift gate of storm and the rift gate of fire he does have two other ones one is green and i think the other one is can't remember now but today I know you'll see him when you go onto his uh, eBay page or uh, his eBay shop uh, they come, they're about four and a half millimeter or four and a half inches high and about four inches wide so these like obviously straight away when you see them these can be used for an alternate uh, realm gate but I think they are a lot smaller than the realm gates uh, another realm gates go pretty high up I'd imagine they nearly almost go like twice the height of this but um I still think they're great. Um, it comes, it's MDF board, which has all this laser in. You can see all like the burn marks and all that stuff. It's pretty cool. You can get the smell of burnt MDF off it when you open it up out of the plastic. Um, but you do have to be careful when you're assembling it. It comes off the sprue pretty easy. Uh, there's just a few little corners you have to just kind of go through with a knife. But it is MDF board, and if you look here, you can see that I kind of went a bit too hard, and this part is starting to come off. So uh, just be a little bit careful, especially with the sharp edges like that when you're uh, putting it together and taking it off. Um, went together really easily. All you need is super glue. Um, there's loads of different parts. Like there's two parts for the bottom here, two for the steps. Uh, there is like one, two, three layers, and then you have the separate kind of pillar parts here to get glued on as well. I used super glue and it went down very easily. I'd never glued MDF board, so that was pretty. Uh, that was something new that I had to do. I had to look up, make sure what glue works for these guys. Uh, it works for MDF terrain. And as you can see, I did put a little bit too much on the first one, but it's fine. It's a bit of a clean up and um, it stuck pretty well. Um, the size best for models, I mean, like they're pretty decent. I, for the price you're paying, I think it's, it's good. Uh, here you have a Space Marine guy. You know, he, he'd easily fit through. Uh, here we have a Skaven guy who's a bit white lighted there you can't really see him but the scale of him is good for warhammer uh, you can just about fit one you maybe get two on the on the base there as well but for alternate realm gates i think they're fantastic um as for painting i don't know if they're meant to be painted or if you can the kind of details here are slightly engraved you can feel it but i'm really not sure about painting this yet uh, I'm going to have to do a little bit more research on painting MDF uh, terrain because it's completely new to me. Um, but the part in the middle is really great. You have the flame effect here. This one you have the storm effect. But the good thing is you do not have to glue these in. Uh, it's not as if it's stuck to the, the MDF board. This is just when these are all glued together without the base, they're just slotted into the bottom. So you could essentially just, just have an archway here if you wanted it. It doesn't have to be like a magic effect on just create an empty archway, which is a great thing to do as well. I think it's a nice addition to have to it. Um, I don't know why it's not advertised like that in the pictures. I think it should be. I know, I know like when you see these, this is what you're going to be wanting for Realm Gates. But I think it's a nice little addition that you, you don't have to put the, the middle parts in. The kind of magic, magic effect looking parts. And you can just have an archway. 
Um, because you could probably like without putting the base on you could easily line these up next to each other and build like an old chapel room although i think that's something that i might do now now that i'm thinking about it but um overall they are really good uh the, the mdf board itself is pretty strong apart from just the little edges where you have to be careful so you won't chip them um it clips off pretty easily it glues very easily it looks the part it looks really good actually now that i have it here uh, they're going to be a really nice addition to any kind of terrain table 40k or edge sigma or other fantasy games um, the price is what really got me for these now now that i've seen it like i can understand why the price it is because it's mdf board and they're a lot smaller than i thought not a lot smaller but i thought it might have been a little bit higher but they're still you know really good um, the price is like five euro for one or seven euro if you include delivery i don't know what that is in pounds but it's going to be pretty close um it's still a really really good price i think you could I'd easily pay like 10 euro for these uh for one and i'm surprised they're not that price so i'm going to try and pick up some more um so yeah that's it for this uh fantasy oh i forgot to say at the start it's fantasy scenic tt combat fantasy scenics tt combat so that's what they are that'll be all in the description and everything below and you probably in the thumbnail but um yeah go check him out go check out the troll traders ebay page i've used him numerous times for stuff his postage is really good um and i bought these guys often before as well the debt runners and i was able to pick up two of them for like 11 euro including postage you know so he knows what he's doing he does really good deals make sure to check him out and if you guys like these realm gates you think they're a good find on ebay for the price let me know in the comment section below make sure to hit the like button it helps a lot and subscribe if you haven't i'm looking forward to hearing you guys about these a lot of people when i put up the pictures they've been asking where i'm getting them from i think they certainly are a really good find on ebay so let me know what you guys think anyway thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next video